Are you dizzy? I'm really dizzy. This is making me really dizzy. Who's dizzy? leaving Dollar General. It is my wife's birthday today. So we got some <clears throat> candles, we got some uh, other, a couple of party favors. We got a coloring book for my daughter. It's her spring break, so um, <clears throat> she needs something to do during the day. Her cousins do not have spring break this week, so uh, during the days it's a little bit quiet. And um, we went to McDonald's earlier and played in the play place, had some lunch. And uh, now we're gonna head into the uh, Payless Foods, which is a, one of the local grocery stores here. And um, we're gonna get some frosting and maybe some pudding. What do you think? And then we'll head home. It's only like five minute drive, it's pretty close. It's turning out to be a really nice day. It's a little chilly when the sun gets behind the clouds, but when the sun's out, it's nice and toasty. We're gonna hit the new Vienna playground. I think there's a merry-go-round on there, which is nice not because it's like, one. not the one at the baseball diamond. Because I feel like merry-go-rounds, they don't, they don't have those at, at playgrounds anymore. They get rid of those. So this is like a rare treat. Because I think kids get hurt on them too much or that or Maybe they break a lot. I'm not sure why they get rid of them. Hey, do you think that's a bad idea or a good idea? Bad idea? All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. How about I go first? All right, come on. You go first then. I'll go on this way. Lots and lots of time. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. This is a pretty steep slide. They don't make slides like this anymore. Why? Uh, I'm guessing insurance, maintenance, overall safety concerns. These days when they make playgrounds, they make them kind of boring. They don't make them super fun like this one. This one's made out of steel. I can't hold your hand. You have to go by yourself. See you later. All right. Ready? Here we come. Kind of, oh, I'm getting like jammed up in here. My phone is getting squished. I'm too big. Oh, here we come! Oh! Whoa, that made me dizzy. Oh! Day at the playground, walking back home or to my mother in law's house. Picked up two more kids. There are lots of kids at the playground. I guess kids are just allowed to just roam the neighborhood around here. It's and I know yeah, kind of a nostalgic in that way. Definitely different than Chicago. But uh, we got uh, one of my nieces and one of my nephews with us. Yeah, yeah, I will. And uh, I'm gonna take my, another one of my nephews to karate class later. Then we'll have some birthday cake. I 
am now in Epworth, Iowa, uh, outside the American Legion here. It's actually just across the street uh, over there. Uh, my nephew that I took to his karate class uh, has Boy Scouts afterwards. And so um, I brought him here. And uh, his, his karate class is not actually a karate class. It's called Tangsudo, which from what I gather is a derivative form of uh, Taekwondo. Um, so it's interesting, like every, all the, like, uh, you know, a lot of his classes in, in Korean, which I thought was weird because uh, at today's class, I was the only Korean guy there. Not that you have to be Korean, kind of like you don't have to be Mexican to make Mexican food or you don't have to be Italian to make Italian food or have to be Korean to make Korean food. Um, but it is kind of just weird that in um, Dyersville, Iowa, inside the rec center, which um, shares space with the National Farm Toy Museum, uh, there is a class full of people who are learning uh, what looked to me like the Taekwondo forms. I'm not an expert. I took it until like I was a yellow belt in the third grade or fourth grade or something. Um, but what reminded me of like those Taekwondo forms uh, and, uh, you know, like uh, conducting the class largely in Korean, even though there were no Korean people there. Uh, that aside, uh, now I'm at the American Legion. Uh, which is an interesting little spot. It's a little tiny little house. And I wanted to get, a, it was like a cute little house with a nice American flag on a flagpole outside. And I was about to get a shot and then someone in like a huge suburban kind of drove in front of it and parked there waiting for uh, presumably someone in Boy Scouts to come out. So they're in my shot. Um, after we do that, um, we're gonna drive back, get some dinner. Uh, it's my wife's birthday, so we'll uh, sing happy birthday to her. Um, and have cake and everything like that. If they haven't had cake already, they might have already done it. Um, my wife doesn't really like that kind of thing and she you know, definitely didn't need it. You know, it's more for the kids. Kids like birthdays and they like blowing out candles and singing songs and stuff, so uh, it's for them. And so we'll do that. And then, I think to end the night, oh, I don't know if there'll be enough time for it, but yesterday we watched High School Musical as part of movie night. And uh, which I had never seen before, and um, I'm hoping today we can watch High School Musical 2 and then round out uh, spring break with High School Musical 3. But I found out that yesterday, even though the first movie is called High School Musical, you don't actually get to watch or you don't get to see a high school musical at all, you get to see the end result of the academic decathlon that's kind of like a side side story in it and you get to see the championship basketball game which is also not it's not called high school basketball it's not called high school academic decathlon it's called high school musical but as far as you get in the story is only the callback audition for the high school musical i mean you hear about the results later as Akafron gets the lead part but you don't actually see any of the high school musical in High School Musical. What's going on?